I'm David Brewster. I graduated from Duke's Nicholas School of the Environment in 2000. I'm the president and co-founder of Enernoc, an energy management company that helps drive energy efficiency. As a society, we have an insatiable appetite for energy, and there's no end to that in sight in terms of the direction we're moving in. And so hopefully what we can do is create more efficiency in the system so we can use energy more intelligently. There's so many challenges in the electric power industry that we're trying to tackle, not the least of which is that utilities get paid to build power plants and they get to earn a rate of return on the capital that they invest in power plants. And in today's carbon constrained world, we really need to create incentives so that they want to save energy and that they have an economic reason to save energy. So that's where we're really working to fundamentally change the way the electric power industry operates. Essentially, you can think of it as sort of democratization of the power grid, where instead of relying on power plants to always feed electricity out into the system, we can actually utilize the potential energy efficiency or demand reductions of electricity at buildings. And so what our business model is all about is networking buildings together so that we can harness their ability to modify how they're consuming electricity. take a supermarket, for example. What we do with a supermarket is we would install a device at the supermarket that first and foremost lets us just measure how much electricity are they consuming right now. Then we can send that data back to our network operations center so that we're making the grid smart right there. It's sort of a smart meter where we're measuring how much electricity they're consuming, which most businesses don't have the ability to do in real time. What we then do is actually wire up the ability to reduce consumption. So we might wire into their lighting panel or to their refrigeration case or the air handlers that cycle air around the supermarket. And then when the grid is stressed, we can actually send a signal to our device and enact that strategy so that we're, we're turning off a third of the lights in the supermarket. Um, maybe we're shutting off the heaters on the refrigeration cases that prevent condensation. We're, we're changing the way air cycles around the facility. People are continuing to shop, businesses is running, but we're actually able to save a lot of energy. Most uh, end users of electricity have no idea when and how much electricity they're consuming. It's sort of the last frontier of information technology. And so our mission is really to bring technology to bear to help businesses uh, get a better grasp on how they're using energy so that ultimately they can make better energy decisions. We've been tracking energy reduction since 2006. And over the last five years, we've actually seen a 9.4 million kilowatt reduction uh, based on our energy savings. Uh, a lot of that is conservation uh, and um, uh, just understanding how we use energy and how we can use it a little bit more effectively. Enonoc has been great because they thought a little bit outside the box. They came to the property, they analyzed where we could cut energy without impacting our guests. And we committed to 300 kilowatts of reduction. This is how the system works. This is the Enonoc piece. Everything can be monitored remotely at Enonoc. The thing about demand response is that you can participate and be conservative with your energy consumption when they ask you to, or we can all suffer a brownout or a blackout when the grid goes down. So raising the temperature a couple of degrees or turning lights down and non-essential equipment off is a much better situation or solution uh, than having to explain to a guest why we have absolutely no air conditioning, why we have no lights. One of the things I think is, is so exciting about Duke is um, the, the, the potential it has to, to really rise as a leader in the, in the energy space. Duke has obviously an excellent school of the environment with the Nicholas School of the Environment. It has an excellent business school and it has an excellent public policy school. It has an excellent engineering school. And those are really the four pillars of the electric power industry. It's, it's the environmental issues, it's the business issues, it's the, the regulatory issues, the public policy issues, and it's obviously the engineering issues. So I think Duke has a unique opportunity, a unique platform to bring those schools all together in a unified way, in a cross-collaborative, cross-functional way, which Duke is known for and is so good at to really foster and produce the next leaders of our energy industry which in my opinion is the most important industry the most dirty most polluting industry it's the industry that causes so many of our world's problems we need the best and the brightest thinkers to really apply creativity in all those areas to solve the generational challenge that we have to create a, a reliable efficient clean uh, electricity system sort of the 21st uh, the sustainable energy future that we need in the 21st century. Thank you.